welcome to RPG Community College. My name is John Burgundy. I am the dean of this prestigious institution. And today, I want to be talking about how I've been leveling my characters in Grim Dawn. Now that we have the Forgotten Gods expansion, we have a major tool to make the whole leveling process a lot easier. And I'm about to show you how I've been using it. More experienced players have probably already picked this trick up. But if you're newer to the game, or you're just not that familiar with everything that Forgotten Gods has to offer, then this video is going to help you out. Basically, what I'm about to go into detail about is this. I get Devotion Points and Crucible, then I use the Savior's Merit to unlock the Ultimate Difficulty. This also unlocks all the rifts in Elite and Normal. I go into Normal to grab some more easy Devotion Points, then I do the first quest in the game on Elite, and then again on Ultimate. After all this, I'm going to be a little over level 30. Then I go back to Elite and I level the rest of the way there. I completely skip normal difficulty and large parts of the campaign in Elite due to having all the portals unlocked. If this is all that you needed to hear, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. But for those of you who want a detailed guide on how I do this, the rest of this video is going to be for you. Measure twice and cut once is something that my grandpa taught me. Those are some pretty wise words. A little preparation can go a long way, and there are some things that I like to throw into my inventory before I start leveling. As far as components go, I grab three silk swatches, two ward stones, a rune stone, two soul shards, one mark of the traveler, one anti-venom salve, and an unholy inscription. I have two slith rings that I've saved from previous characters. You can get these rings from a quest in the White Mire. I also have a ranger's ribbon. That it's kind of like an heirloom that I pass down from character to character. It brings with it some good luck and a little pierce resistance. I also have some leveling gear lying around for certain characters, but for this run, I just crafted a Spellfire Wand and a Maven's Lens. Lokar's set is, of course, going to be great if you have it. I also take 20 Scrap, 10 Aether Crystals, and 5 Dynamite. And last, but certainly not least, are 5 Experience Potions. You get these from being revered with the Malmoth Resistance faction. I like to have one active whenever I'm turning in quests. I start off by getting 5 devotion points in the Crucible. You can get more if you want to, but I'm always eager to get out of the Crucible as soon as I can. I then head to the normal difficulty, and I use my Savior's Merit and an Experience Potion. These merits can be bought at this vendor here in the Conclave of the Three in the Forgotten Guides DLC in the Ultimate Difficulty. You can transfer them to new characters via the Shared Stash. This will unlock the Ultimate Difficulty and all of the rifts in the Normal and Elite Difficulty. I then start making my way to some Devotion Shrines. The first one is in the Burial Cave. You can complete the first quest in the game and grab a Devotion Point here. I then head to the Warden's Lab Rift, and head backwards to the Devotion Shrine in the Underground Transit. Next up is the Arcovian Foothills Rift. I head down to the Rover Camp, take the quest to clear the blockade, and find the Lost Elder. I then make my way to the Elder, grab the Relic, clear the blockade, and then head to the Devotion Shrine on the trail past the blockade. After this, I head northwest of the White Mire Rift and into the cave in the Slith area for the Devotion Shrine. Next, I go back to the Arcovian Foothills Rift, turn in the quests, and head south to a cave filled with ghosts and another Devotion Shrine. And our last stop in Normal is going to be in Devil's Crossing. All we do here is turn in quests. Then we head off to Elite. Don't forget to pop that XP potion like I did in Normal. Here we do the first quest, grab the Devotion Shrine, 
turn that quest in, give shards to Kasparov, and scrap to Barnabas, then we're off to ultimate. You should be level 20 by this point and have some unique gear to equip, also enough devotion points to boost your damage. The best defense you're going to have at low levels in ultimate is a good offense, so try and boost your damage as much as you can. All we do in ultimate is everything we just did in elite, and don't forget to pop that XP pot. After repeating this, you should be over level 30. We change difficulties one last time and head on back to Elite. With all the portals unlocked, you can fly through the game, skipping large portions of it. The only quests I do before killing the Warden in Act 1 are the ones that are mandatory and the ones that are quick. I kill Milton Hart and the Elite mobs that this guy asks you to. I turn in the Slith necklaces, get a Smith, and save Kasparov's apprentice. You also have to kill Viloth the Corrupter and clear the Burwich City Rift before killing the Warden. After killing the Warden, I head to Act 2 where I do all the quests. They're pretty fast and worthwhile. After you kill Cronley, you can open a portal and head straight to Deadman's Gulch and talk to Ulgrim. This saves a lot of time. After you talk to Ulgrim, you can save even more time and teleport straight to Homestead. You can turn in all your quests that you have, then head out towards the Hive, kill the Eggs, Queen Ravna, and the Amalgamation, and you should be very close to hitting level 50 if you haven't already. I hit level 50 shortly after by saving the Prisoners in the Blood Grove. I want to go over a couple of things that I did wrong. In normal, I forgot to use an experience potion, and I didn't do the first quest. This would have definitely helped me get a few extra early levels. In elite, I also forgot to turn in the Slith necklace quest. So just by remembering to turn your quest in, you can already do this faster than I can. Another common sense thing you could do to level faster would be to use a movement skill. I didn't. Um, you should. Picking a skill that does more damage than Word of Pain would also help a lot. Something like Force Wave, Vire's Might, Frozen Sky Shard, or Summon Skeleton. Those are all some pretty good choices. So don't be a noob like John Burgundy, turn your quests in, deal more damage, use a movement skill, and drink those XP pots. There are a couple things you're going to want to think about if you plan on using this strategy. Faction reputation is one of them. Because we skip an entire difficulty, you might not have enough rep to buy the leveling gear or augments that you're going to need for ultimate. You're probably going to have to farm some reputation later on. I also only got about 20 devotion points in this run, but now that you're level 50, going back into normal and getting 20 or 30 more points should be quick and painless. That about covers everything I can think of, so that's going to be all for this video. If you learned a thing or two and you would like to continue your education, enrollment is free. All you have to do is like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down there in the comments section. I'd be happy to answer them. I wish you the best of luck in your adventures, and I hope to see you again soon.